Welcome back folks, how are we doing tonight? I was in the middle of sorting some brass here that a viewer had sent in. Thanks again, sir. It is greatly appreciated. But we got a big bucket of uh, 308 here that we're going through. And uh, this is what we've got so far. Pretty good variety. Some SAR head stamps I've never seen. One from CBC. PPU, Lake City AP that I've never seen, Federal FC, and then over there is miscellaneous. There's a few pieces of Creedmoor and um, I think a 6.8 SPC or something along those lines. We've got some Norma, S&B, Hornady, and miscellaneous going on right here. Anyways, we're just uh, getting to it. So Hornady, PPU. Knocking out some chores off the list so that we can get on to more loading. Here's one of the miscellaneous ones. GGG or 666. Oh god. Yeah, I've never seen that one before. Super miscellaneous. I think that's the second one of those I've found so far. And uh, yeah, nothing else exciting. And I said that and there's the third one. Back to back. Anyways, hope everyone's doing well this week. I certainly am, I tell you what. Just getting work done, I gotta mow tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't rain, cause then I'm traveling all weekend. So I uh, gotta get it done before we head out. But other than that, we're just plugging away, fellers. Maybe someday when I have all this mixed brass sorted into head stamps, I'll take like, you know, five of each one and get everything uniformed and whatnot, and then we could do a, you know, pick a charge and a bullet and all that that worked well for one load that I know works, and then just try it in all the others and see how they react. Could be kind of fun. Could blow up some of them though. Hmm. Because I know some of these cases are a lot smaller than others. So maybe I'll pick a light load that we can happen to do that with. That could be kind of fun, right? Just pick a nice uh, 150 grain load. Some uh, pretty light pressure service rifle data. I think we'd be safe there. Right? Wouldn't that be okay? That could be a fun little test. You know, keep same primers, powders, and bullets, but the only difference would be the brass. Maybe try to do like 10 groups or something. I don't know, I'm just talking right now because I don't have time to do any of that. I mean, we could get it loaded up and all that, but I don't know when we would get to the range. But it would be cool to have on the back burner ready to go. That's pretty much what everything I'm loading right now is, is just on the back burner because we can't go shoot it. But it's fun to bring you along to load it up and show all the other crap, I guess. And it looks like some of you fellers like watching, so that's pretty sweet. I certainly appreciate you hanging out. Cause we're really not doing a whole lot here. I'm just rambling. But yeah. You guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out. If I have helped you in any way, or maybe just made you laugh, that's cool too. My original goal was to just answer some of the questions that I had when I started reloading. Hopefully I've done some of that, because I know other new reloaders, they're also going to be asking similar questions. But I've probably strayed far away from that and, you know, who knows, we're just running in circles, doing 50 different projects at a time right now. But it's all good. I'm enjoying it. Hope you guys are too. But such is life, you know, you don't always get what you want. I don't, I don't get to be on the computer all day shooting the guns all day, I gotta go to work. So, deal with it, nerd. Freaking deal with it. I'll quit, bitch, and I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Ooh, almost dropped them. But yeah, we're just gonna be getting all this sorted out here. And then I'm gonna head out to the gym here in just a few. Yeah, this is quite the assortment of brass. And there's a crap ton of it. So I am very appreciative because I like those federal cases and you know I like those Lake City cases. I'm about to start liking some of these others. Cause you know, you can just have 50 pieces of something and then just have those set aside and loaded with a certain load. It's not like I have to, you know, switch to Norma and that's all I'm gonna shoot forever. What is this PPU? This thing looks like it's been beat up. Look at that, a little swipey. A little overgassed AR-10 action maybe. Hmm. Sucks to be that guy. It's AR hauling today. Have not seen any blown primers that I'm aware of, but some of these did come deprimed because obviously they've been tumbled. So that's why you've seen some without primers. As far as I know, they're just once fired range brass from uh, factory loads, but there's a deprimed Federal with a good swipe on it too. But it's all good, because I bet I can get a couple firings out of that. Or like I said, just make a set of 50 and have like a hunting load set aside. Or, you know, throw it into the big uh, miscellaneous bucket and that'll just be for, like I said, the low pressure blasting rounds, 150 grains, 149 grains. Actually, I got a big bucket of them sitting aside over there. I need to do a slight little load work up on. Got a killer deal from American Reloading. Mm-hmm. They were doing, uh, what was it? 500 pack was like 80 bucks, but if you got two, it was somehow like $10 off each pack, and then you automatically get 30% off projectiles. So it ended up being like 12 cents a piece because of free shipping and so on and so forth. So I got plenty of full metal jackets to play with in the mixed brass area. So that could be freaking sweet. Does anyone have a good pet load you use for your just military, uh, you know, 50,000 PSI blaster? Because there's no reason we need to go all the way to 60K plus or whatever. We just need a light blast and load that we can throw in the M1A or out of the bolt gun or it doesn't matter whose gun it's going in, it should be safe, so on and so forth. So that's what a lot of this might go towards, is uh, a bulk type of load. If any of you guys have suggestions, I've got a pretty good chunk of some Ranshot TAC I'm gonna be using. So if you've used TAC in 150 grain bullets, let me know how that worked. We could try some other stuff, but I have, I have some of that to use for that project specifically. You're getting down to it. Hernity, AP, Hernity. I know some of you guys are like, man, I don't sort my brass never. I think I just put the wrong one in here, but it'll be okay. We'll find them later. Anyways, yeah. I know some of you guys don't sort your brass for certain cartridges, but uh, it's fun, man. It makes me feel good inside. Like everything's nice and sorted. I don't go as far as uh, like go by year or any of that crap. I just, this brand, so on and so forth. But even here we have PPU 308, and PPU 762. So, you know, I'm sure they're pretty close to each other. Although I've heard Starline when they do 223 versus 556, those actually have different internal capacities. So maybe companies do actually make different brass to differentiate between the NATO versus the commercial loadings. I don't know, man. That'd be something to do some research on. Anybody have a good answer on that one? I'm sure one of you guys know all this stuff. LC, PPU, normal. 
This one's about to overflow here. There's another GGG. Ooh, look, hey. This one's been primer sealed. I don't know, maybe, can you see the green way down in there? Anyway, so we were just using our own green primer sealer. And then if you've seen these ones, they have red sealant, the SAR. I don't know what those are though, brother. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, nice little red sealant ring. And someone in the comments was just saying that they heard uh, like surplus military stuff. They used asphalt tar or something, an asphalt sealer. Anybody know about that? Since I've been screwing around with that Marcron bullet sealer lately, just uh, just for kicks, you know. But some people are like, yeah, I actually use it, it's sweet. Oh crap, that was normal. But yeah, what are some other kind of sealants? Of course, you can do nail polish, I've heard. And then I've got that Marcron stuff. I'm sure there's other brands that make a specific thing. Oh wow, second piece of S, or sorry, CBC there. SAR, P. <laughs> oh, here we are, folks. We are rolling around the old the old bend here, coming up on the old finishing line on the home stretch. About five left. You could probably hear the kids in the neighborhood yelling and acting a fool. Anyways, there's three, two, one, and we're done. Check it out. Anyways. That was today's reloading chore. Got a couple of randoms here, but again, we've got some SAR, a good deal of that. PPU, Lake City, AP, never seen those either. FC, good stuff there. I think it was all 308. It was none of the NATO stuff, so that's even mo better. We got Hornady 308 and 308 match, and some Norma. Super cool. And then over here, some of these, we have that GGG. Couple S and B pieces, both a uh, spear and federal nickel piece. So, wow, that's super cool, man. Anyways, thanks again, brother, for sending all the goodies. I super appreciate it. Took me long enough to get to, but all good. Thanks again for hanging out, folks, and we will see you in the next video. Have a good one.